Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to create your own interactive captions in Adobe InDesign. What I'm going to show you today is how to click a certain icon to trigger a caption, much like you see here on my screen. I'm going to have a action where I click the icon, a little information icon, that will trigger you right to the caption for each individual image in my photo presentation here. So what I have here is a print project that I want to convert into a um, digital display so I can put it up on the online as well. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I have here. I have 12 images all together and each image has one of these little icons. It's an eye within a circle just to signify that it's more information. And what I'm going to show you to do is once we've clicked that, it's going to trigger um, the caption for each image. Okay, so I do have multiple layers that I'm working on and I've named each one of these caption one caption two it's very important to do this to take out any confusion uh, from the early onset because once you start triggering buttons to captions you want to make sure that it the sequence is a nice flow one thing you should note is I'm working in the digital publishing workspace so it's important to know that if you're in the essentials workspace or if you're in an older version of InDesign, you're probably in the classic version. Just go up, up here in your control panel and where it says it'll say essentials, just switch that to digital publishing. There's two panels that we're gonna be focused on in this tutorial primarily. It's object states and buttons and forms. You probably see a lot of panels here that you don't recognize only because you may not have worked in this workspace before. So. What I've already done is I've created buttons out of all of these icons. I've selected all of them and I went to my buttons and forms and with all of them selected, I checked off convert to button. Right now it says convert to object. You can always convert a button back to an object. Right now I don't want to because we want to link these to our uh, captions, okay? So the next thing I wanna do is working in object states so we've set our buttons already with our icons what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one caption hold down my shift key and click the rest of the captions what these captions contain is a, uh, a number so each photo has a number associated with it the caption itself and then I created a rectangle box with a 70% opacity so we can see through the, the shape and not lose a lot of our image here, okay? So I do have three of them selected, hold shift and just click. I've grouped each one as well, so it's important to group them. Okay, so I have all 12 selected now and this is where we're gonna go into our object states. So object states, I have the panel uh, right above, buttons and forms, I'm gonna open that up. And down below in the right hand corner, I'm going to convert the selection, all 12 of those captions, into an object state. And you'll see what happens here. Each caption becomes its own state now. So when I, when I click, um, you'll see here they're actually named from what I named them. So caption 1, caption 2, caption 3, and so on. Okay, so now we can start linking our button to our captions, okay? So let's do that. I'm gonna click on my first button and go to my buttons and forms panel. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. So I have button one selected. You can choose what the event will be. So I'm just gonna leave it on release or tap, but you can change it to on click, on rollover, but we want for this tutorial on release or tap. I'm gonna add an action now. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I want this to go to a state, not the next state. We want it to go to a state. So I'm gonna click that. And now down below here, you're gonna see my states uh, object. And then I do wanna link it. I want my button one to link to caption one. Okay, so that's good. So that one's done. I can move on to my next one. Zoom out just a bit. I'm gonna tear this off so we can do it without it closing every time I click on one. So 
Uh, button two, we want to add an action to go to a state and we want it to go to state two, or caption two. Okay, and we go to this third one. Button three, add go to a state and let's make it go to caption three. Let's click the fourth button, go to a state, and we want it to go to four. Let's go to five. So let's add an action to go to a state for six. I may as well finish all of these here. I know it takes a little while, but just so you're not missing any steps here, I want it to go to a state, and we want this to go to state seven. I want this to go to a state, and that's going to state eight. And this is gonna go to state nine. We're getting there. Button 10, go to a state. Let's send that to states. Uh, the button is at 10. Yeah, so let's go. Let's send that to 10. Go to a state. That's going to 11. And then finally, button 12 will go to a state and it will go to state 12, caption 12. Okay, so now all my all my buttons are linked to the states themselves, the object states. So I'm going to bring this back into that panel there, and I'm just going to go to my object states here. I'm going to click on it. Okay, so one one of the states will show up. I'm going to go to my object states panel here, and this is important to note: is I don't want any of these to appear on upon opening the the document when I open it online. So I'm just gonna click the uh, object state options, which is the four little lines up here in the right hand corner. Go ahead and click that, and I wanna hide it until it's triggered. So I wanna, I wanna select hidden until triggered. So go ahead and click that. And now we can test out our work here. So let's go to buttons and forms, and let's go ahead and Click the preview, spread, EPUB. Now it's gonna be small, so I might have to launch this on the actual publishing site. But I wanna just see if these all work. So there you go, you can see there that they're working. And so when I click the next one, it collapses the previous. So let's go ahead and publish this and see how it looks in real time online. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish online. And I'm just going to call this photo gallery. You have the option of um, selecting which page you'd like to do, but I'm just going to hit all for this. You also have the option of making this a single page stacked up on each other, but if you have facing pages that you want to display in a, um, a magazine format, you can leave it on spread. And I think I'm going to do that for this instance as well. And let's go ahead and hit publish. That just takes a second to publish online. And I'm gonna hit view document here. I can also share this, this link if you have something that you'd like to share on Facebook or Twitter or email, it sends that link right to those, those platforms. So let's hit view document. I'm going to make my browser bit bigger here. So I also have the option of zooming in here and let's take a look. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, and so on. So that's a cool way of linking an icon um, to have an, a photo caption experience to engage users to, to click on certain things and have things pop up. And that's just by using two simple panels, buttons and forms, and linking it to object states, which in this case are those captions, okay? Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, bye.